I actually did walk in tonight, and uh, it was quarter five, and Brandon goes, hey, he goes, uh, you know, you're introducing Kevin, right? So I said, all right. But it's not hard to introduce Kevin. Kevin is, uh, was a great player. Uh, he's a great coach, uh, and even a better person. And he's also an actor, and I'll get into all of that briefly. Uh, when he was playing for me, and I, I want you to think back to the Williams statistics. Uh, they, we won 111 games and only lost 12 during his four years. Uh, we went on uh, to win a national championship, went to the Final Four three times, uh, and then Kevin graduated and he went and played overseas professionally for two years. Uh, and then he came back and coached with me and took me to three more Final Fours and won another national championship. Uh, in between that, he went out to the D-League and coached with the Santa Cruz Warriors, won a, won a championship in the D-League too. So he certainly is a, he was a great player, uh, a great coach, uh, a great actor, and even uh, a better person. Now let's talk about his acting a little bit. Uh, Kevin came into, me, come, came into the office when, once and he said, hey coach, he said, do you mind if I miss practice on Monday? And Kevin doesn't like to miss practice, like he's one of those guys. And I could tell it was a hard thing for him to ask me about. And I said, why, what's up? He goes, well, I have a chance to go down and audition for this part in that movie, Delivery Man. And uh, I said, what are you nuts? I said, I'll go down, you coach, I'll go down, you know? Uh, of course you go, right? So he goes down, he gets the part. And if you haven't seen Delivery Man, you have to see Delivery Man, you'll be able to pick him out. He's a tall guy in it. Uh, he asked me to promo this tonight because he's still getting royalties. <laughs> And so if you go see it, you're helping my guy. Uh, and so, again, he, he did great things as an assistant coach for us. Uh, he went on to become the coach at Muhlenberg, and, and I have to tell you how proud I am and uh, how proud I am now, but have been watching him coach. And uh, when you're an old guy, I coached at Amherst for 42 years, and I've retired now. Uh, nothing warms your heart better than to have one of your former guys call you up to talk about things. And, uh, you know, whether it's how to handle a situation with a kid, uh, how to break this, how to break that. And I have to tell you that I've gotten a lot more from those conversations than Kevin got from me. And so, Kevin, I'm really proud of you. Uh, congratulations. You're the man. The, uh, the, the movie royalty checks are actually what allowed me to keep coaching because <laughs> Coach Hickson was not paying me very much money at Amherst. So, uh, it's an honor and a privilege to be part of this great event today. Um, I'm going to do my best to keep it short so that there's plenty of time for you guys to hear from uh, the other inductees. But um, it's really special and uh, I feel very fortunate and very grateful to be included with this group of talented, hardworking, and high character people um, who each in their own unique way have contributed a lot to the game of basketball. Um, I know it was touched on earlier and disagreed with, but I do think the expression it takes a village to raise a child um, rings true, and that's through the relationships you have, and a lot of those, a lot of those relationships are founded in basketball. Um, and so when you look at the inductees tonight, Clearly, uh, there's a number of incredible villages that have been represented here tonight with those relationships. Um, I'd also like to thank Rennie, uh, the Upstate New York Basketball Hall of Fame, the Hilton Hotel and their staff, as well as the friends, family, coaches, and teammates that make up not only my village, but the village of the other inductees um, as well for all that they've done for all of us to make this night possible. Um, I ask that we all take a moment and give a long overdue and well-deserved round of applause for all those individuals behind the inductees tonight. As I said, I also want to congratulate the fellow inductees on this great honor. Um, it's inspiring to look around the room and see all the great accomplishment of the other inductees, both past, present, and so congratulations to each and every one of you who also deserves a round of applause as well.
been thinking back on my career as a player and then as a coach. Um, I came back to the expression, if you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go together. I've been very fortunate throughout my life and career that I've never had to go it alone. I always, I've always been surrounded by great teammates, great coaches, and an amazingly supportive group of family and friends. Without them, I wouldn't be standing here in front of you today. I wish that I could take time uh, to thank and talk about each and every one of them and the impact they had, but as I said before, we're trying to keep it brief, so I'm only going to mention a few. The easiest place to start is with the people who've supported and inspired me since the beginning, uh, to my parents, my mom, Deborah, my dad, Howard, who's since passed, uh, my stepdad, Tom, and my aunt, Carol, Uncle Rick, thank you. Your guys' wisdom, guidance, and unconditional love and support have played an integral role in the person who I've become, both on and off the court. To my brother Eric, his wife Cassandra, and their two kids, Zachary and Morgan, my sister Jessica, her husband Castro, and their new daughter, Eliana, thank you. It was an amazing experience growing up next to you guys, and you definitely uh, set me on the path that I'm currently on in life. To my girlfriend, Devin, although you have a better jump shot than I do, uh, your competitive spirit pushes and inspires me each day uh, to keep working and improving so I can just keep up with you. Uh, same and to my extended family, friends, coaches, the teammates, teachers, and other people that are in that village, thank you to them as well. Um, they've all played a role in me being here today. I don't think I could ever give back um, or repay those people for all that they've poured into me. My only hope is that uh, hopefully I can uh, pay it forward with other people as a coach now. Um, real quickly, I just wanted to touch on some of the lessons that I've learned along the way from different coaches. Uh, coach Jarrell and Coach Zula are here, actually. They welcomed me into the Albany Capitals um, as a high school kid, and their two biggest things were friends and fundamentals. I think that rings true not only for basketball, but also for life. Having good relationships, <coughs> sticking to the basics, getting things done. Uh, coach Hickson at Amherst, uh, two of the biggest things were he's always talking about having an edge. Uh, we always had an edge when we were playing Williams, but when we were playing those other schools, that was a constant battle that he was fighting for us. So keeping that edge and then weeding the garden, addressing the elephant in the room, having tough conversations. Again, things that apply not only on the court, but also in life. Uh -huh. Casey Hill, who I worked for in Santa Cruz, talked about burning the boats, fully committing to something, giving yourself no way, no way out. And then I think it all got tied together when Joe Mantegna from Blair Basketball told me that uh, if anybody wants to know the secret to basketball, it's that it's not about basketball. It's about people and it's about relationships. And so all the mentors and teammates that I've had have really reinforced that. Uh, lastly, anybody that knows me knows that the person who should really be going into the Hall of Fame tonight is my mom. Uh, as KD said, she's the real MVP. Uh, She's figured it out, the secret to life. It's, it's about people, good relationships, uh, competing for the people you love, communicating, um, all the little things. I don't know if she knows this, but when I was in middle school, before my dad passed, he told me uh, there's three things in life and you get to pick two to be good at. There's girls, basketball, and school. If you're good at basketball and school, eventually the girls will figure it out. Later on, uh, when I was in high school, my mom had a similar convo. She told me, uh, there's three options. There's school, work, and sports. You've got to do two of the three. School is a given, and I'm not a dummy, so I chose sports over getting a real job. Uh, little did she know it, but that conversation uh, set me on a path for where I am today as a college basketball coach. Still haven't worked a day in my life just dealing with school and basketball. So for that, thanks, Mom. Finally, uh, thank you to all the coaches, all my coaches, teammates, friends, and supporters. Without you guys, as I've said before, I wouldn't be here today. And lastly, congrats to all the other inductees, and let's enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. <laughs>